Hello, everybody. Hello, coach. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. How are you guys? I'm fine, coach. And you? Good, good. Thank you. Thank you for asking. And thank you for also waiting for me. I was having um, some problems with uh, the Zoom and um, no, now it's 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 off. <laughs> okay. Um, how is everybody today? Are you happy that uh, we're finishing one more module? You're happy? Yes. Happy about that? Yes. Well, thank you. No, not happy. So remember, Very happy. Today, yeah. Coach. So today is our last day of this module, right? You guys remember that? Yes. Okay. All right. Todos están aquí, verdad, conmigo? Yes. Are you ready for uh, to take the attendance? Okay, Bye. ahorita voy a empezar a tomar asistencia, a acordarles de que necesitamos eh, que um, no solamente que, que, que escriban en el chat, ah, que esto es, sino que, ah, que tienen que eh, encender sus cámaras y confirmar eh, con audio, ¿verdad? Que sí, realmente ustedes están acá, ¿verdad? Entonces, acordarles de eso y vamos a empezar ahorita con la asistencia. Okay. okay. Aaron Alberto Peraza Martel. Aaron Alberto. Not here. Uh, Adriana Beatriz Rodriguez Sosa. Present. Okay, thank you. Um, Ana Mercedes Solorzano Najardo. Ana Mercedes Solórzano. Ok, acuérdense, tienen que, que abrir cámara y también decirlo, porque es eso de, o sea, la asistencia de eso consiste pues, eh, que, que Insapor pueda ver en el video de que ustedes están presentes, ¿verdad? Eh, ellos no pueden ver um, las chats, así que. Eh, por favor, necesito confirmación audible y visual. Um, perdón, ya me perdí. No sé, dije Blanca Rosa Hernández. Rosa. Ok. Daniel Oswaldo Aquino Coreas. Presente. Dora Stephanie Mejía Mejía. Present. Very good. Um, Dora Stephanie Mejiel. Oh, no, perdón. Eh, Edwin Adonai Jans Calderón. Okay, thank you. Um, eh, Eloisa Abigail Ortiz de García. Present. Thank you. Um, Gloria Elizabeth Orellana de Mayen. Present teacher. Estoy saliendo del trabajo. Estoy llegando a casa. Ok, entendí que estaba caminando, ¿verdad? Sí, voy eh, saliendo del trabajo, dice. Ok. Entiendo. ¿Será posible que podamos encender la camarita rapidito? Solo, para... Solo que voy, eh, voy eh, de camino a casa. No sí, sí, entiendo. Pero... Está bien. Perfecto. Solamente necesitamos configuración virtual. Muchas gracias. Bueno. Ok, gracias, bueno. Gloria. Ok. Henry Oswaldo a uh, Quintanilla López. Henry Oswaldo. Eh, no está Henry. Ok. Uh, Hugo Adalberto Orellana. Ok, wonderful, thank you. Uh, José Ángel Hernández López. 
Jose Angel Hernandez Lopez. Present. Okay, wonderful. Thank you. Uh, Juan Adal Alberto Cabrera Herrera. No. Um, so I'll repeat. Uh, Juan Alberto Cabrera Herrera. Catherine Stephanie Salaz Salazar Serrano. Present. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, Catherine. Catherine Jamilet Aviles Garcia. Present. Oh. Okay, um, perdón, Luis Caterina. Ah, ahí está. Okay. Perfecto, gracias. Genia eh, Vanessa, Vanessa Espinosa. Genia eh, Vanessa, Vanessa Espinosa. Ok, las continuo. Um, Kevin Adrián Rodríguez López. Okay, I'll repeat. Um, Kevin uh, Adrian uh, Rodriguez Lopez. Uh, Kimberly Natalie. Uh, I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Kimberly. Uh, Martin Alberto Morales Solorzano. Present. Thank you, Martin. Um, Neila Alexander Santos Solis. Present teacher. Thank you, Neila. Um, Just give me a moment. Okay, I see. Yeah, there is. Um, Pamela and we need Pineda Jala. Pamela? Pamela? Pamela Olaguino. Eh, Pedro Natal Ramirez Andrade. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Antonio Aguilar Carpio. Rafael Antonio, uh, Romeo Antonio Cotier Cerón, Romeo Antonio Present teacher. Thank you very much. Uh, Ruth del Carmen Rosales Villega. Ruth del Carmen. Okay, wonderful. Thank you, Ruth. All right, thank you. Um, uh, Sandra Guadalupe Alparo Her Her Herrera. Sandra Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Sandra. Um, Sonia Janira García de la Cruz. Sonia Janira García de la Cruz. Víctor Manuel. Eh, Víctor Manuel Arqueta eh, Rauta. Present. Thank you very much, uh, Victor. Uh, Janira Guadalupe Pumile Rivera. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Janira. And finally, Judy uh, Edith Chavez de Arte. Teacher, yo no podía activar el audio. Pero aquí estaba activado. Okay, uh, Sonia Janira. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. So, Nia Mira, Garcia de la Cruz. Wonderful. Thank you very much. Okay, so, Teacher, guys. Ya hace un ratito me conecté. Okay, eh, Henry, ¿podría uh, abrir su mano? Estoy ahorita de la máquina, no me traje la tablet. Um, entonces, perdón, no, no he entendido. Mi laptop no tiene cámara webcam. Oh, ok. ¿Y su celular? Permítame que por ahí lo tengo cargando. Ok, ok. Ah, perfecto. Sí, acuérdense, chicos, de que eh, es 
parte de los requisitos que ustedes estén con cámara. Oh, bueno, serie, espérame, ¿no? espérame. Quiero ver. Ok. Eh, ok. Eh, eh, okay. Eh, está la eh, ahorita. Aquí está. Eh, todavía no lo logramos ver, Henry. Con el perfil de Katy estoy. Es decir, eh, la cámara con el perfil de Katy. Ah, ya, ya, ya. Uy. Ah, como, como uh -huh. Katherine aparece. Okay. Sí, le quitó el teléfono a esta bicha. Ah, bye. Ah, bye. Ok. Ok. Ah, pues bien. Ok, excelente. Entiendo, entiendo. Gracias. Entonces, eh, Henry, tal vez, uh, mientras tanto, durante la casa puede, tal vez, ver con, tal vez con su celular o algo así, sería más fácil. O sea, o sea puede tener los dos dispositivos. Lo importante es de que, o sea, como es un requisito de instalador, um, tener cámara encendida y participación, entonces, o sea, nosotros entendemos que de repente algo pasa, ¿verdad? Que, eh, todos tenemos inconvenientes, ¿verdad? Hasta a mí me pasa. Pero, um, Sí, o sea, debe ser algo que pase espontáneamente, ¿no? no que se siente, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, por eso es de que todos deberíamos tener la cámara encendida, eh, si es posible, ¿verdad? En, en casi todas las clases, ¿verdad? Y en todo momento. Y también participación, porque también por otro lado a veces uh, oigo que las personas hacen bien, dicen que um, hoy, uh, eh, hoy no me siento bien, hoy estoy aquí, ya estoy aquí. Y está bien, pues, pasa, ¿verdad? pasa, no hay problema, o sea, sucede de vez en cuando. Pero que todas las clases, la mayor parte de las clases, o sea, lo mismo, entonces quizá necesitamos eh, revisar el itinerario, así que tal vez no sea realmente tan conveniente este horario para nosotros. Entonces, ustedes ahí hagan el... Eh, acuérdense que ustedes se comprometieron. Uh, después de que se les explicó en que consistía todos los, uh, eh, los requisitos de INSAFOR, porque parece que el de INSAFOR no es solo nosotros, sino que INSAFOR nos eh, estamos uh, atados a lo que ellos um, como nos regulan. ¿ya? Entonces, eh, ellos dicen, debe ser así, pues nosotros tenemos el tema de cumplir. Bueno, eh, entonces, um, habiendo dicho eso, vamos a compartir. Okay, please tell me if you can see my screen. Or better said, when you can see my screen. Okay, so you can see my screen, yes or no? Yes. Yes. Good. So yes, this is, teacher. Perfect, thank you. So this is what, uh, this is um, a little bit of what we were talking about last class. We started talking about the pass of B. What is the pass of B? Can someone remind me? What are the forms of B? Was, were. Very good. Was or were. Exactly. So when we're making a question with the verb to be, all we're going to do is very simple. All we're going to do is it put. Se no se le oye. Hello? Hello, hello? Bueno, yo casi no le escucho. Como que alguien tiene encendido el micrófono. Alguien tiene encendido el micrófono. ¿no? Hay una interferencia. Voy a. Sí. Eh, ahora sí, ¿me escucha mejor? Sí. Ok, va. Entonces, eh, it's, this is a, it's very, very simple. All you have to do is put the word 
was or were at the beginning. That's all. That's all you have to do. Put was or were at the beginning. Now, the nice thing about the verb to be is that it doesn't need a uh, uh, sorry. Um, it doesn't need an auxiliary. The verb to be already is an auxiliary, so you don't have to worry about putting do or does or did. Nothing. Nothing of that. You just have to put the word was or were. Got it? Does that make sense for everybody? It's clear, Miss. I I try um, understanding. <laughs> good, good, good. De eso se trata. Vamos a tratar de entender. Si no entendimos algo, no hay problema. O sea, aquí estoy para ayudarles. Okay, so. Um, yeah. Okay, so if you notice, it has here, were you born in the U.S.? We're going to start with was or were. Okay. Were you born in the U.S.? Or was your brother born in, in 1984? Were your parents born in Michigan? Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah? Uh, yes or no? So, yes. so the only thing I'm teaching you here is that to make the question for the verb to be, we are going to start with the verb to be in the simple past. So we're, we're either going to start with were or we're going to start with was. We're going to start with were if the subject is I. Sorry, sorry if the subject is you, we, or they. We're going to start with was if the subject is I, he, she, or it. Okay? So after were or was, we're going to have the sub the subject. Okay. In this case, the subject is you. Here the subject is your brother. Here the subject is your parents. Okay? Sounds good so far? Necesito que me, me, me digan. Are, are we okay with this so far? Hola. Where yes. es para primera persona. Was es para segunda persona. Y where no. is para... No, 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 no. Ok, so. Esto es, es lo mismo de lo que hemos estado aprendiendo ayer. Eh, bueno, de hecho, hemos, ya tenemos algunos tipos con esto. Ok, we said, yesterday we said, uh, we use I, we use was with I, she, he, it. Ok, I, he, she, he, and it. Ok, now, so with these ones, we're going to be using the 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 word was. 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 Okay. All right. So if you're going to make questions, okay, so we say I was, she was, he was, it was. But if you're going to make questions, we're just going to put it at the beginning. Was I, was she, was he, was it. Okay. 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 That, is that clear for everybody? Those and and in terms of yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for 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 the sign. Acuérdense, chicos, que si les hago una pregunta es porque ustedes que me la contestan. No, no, no solamente que se queden callados. Okay? So, so remember, you say I was, she was, he was, it was. And question, we're just going to put it at the beginning. 
was I, was she, was he, was he. Okay. Eh, les decía que, les dije no de primera persona, segunda persona, porque no tiene que ver con eso. Simplemente es estos sujetos. Porque I es primera persona. She es tercera persona. Y ellos son tercera persona. Entonces, um, y, y los demás también, los otros sujetos, algunos son primera persona, otros son tercera persona, otros son segunda persona. Entonces, no tiene nada que ver con que sean bueno, primera o segunda persona, sino que tiene que ver con el sujeto. So, solo, very, very, very simple. Just remember that I goes with what, she goes with what, he goes with what, it goes with what. Very simple as that. Okay. Okay, teacher. Good. All right. Now, uh, and the opposite is also true. If we're going to be talking about the other subjects, the other subjects are in we is first person. We is primera persona. Uh, you to be you like well, it's, uh, segunda persona, verdad? Porque podemos decir you en el plural, en segunda persona, and uh, they, um, they would be third person, etc. persona. Okay, so with these subjects, we're going to be using. Um, we're going to be using the the verb were. Okay, so we're going to say you were. Sorry, we were. You were. They were. Okay. Now, if it's a question, we're just going to put the at the beginning. Were you were? Sorry, were we? Were you were they? Simple as that. Okay. Does that make sense, everybody? Any sentido? Yes. Yeah? Questions? Anything? Any question you want to ask before we continue? No, it's clear. Yeah? I have a question, teacher. Yes. Yes, what is your, your question? Uh, and what is was your brother born in 1984? Por qué lleva was? Okay, so was your, your 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 brother, your brother. Who is your brother? I, you, he, she, it, we, or they? Which one? Hello. 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 Uh, sería here. Exactly. So your brother is he. Because it's he, you're going to use was, right? Was he. Okay. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And then after that, you're going to use um, just the, the rest of the sentence. Uh, the Whatever you need. Usually with the verb to be, you're going to be using um, an adjective. Okay, or a past sure, participle. Yeah, okay, so, but just basically, it just done um, the rest I of the, let, let, let's say the company. Okay, so far so good. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. Good. Now, in short answers, when we have short answers, like like when you say in Spanish, eh, ¿Tú naciste en Estados Unidos? Sí. Um, oh, better said. No. Um, I may pensar. Okay. Eh, ellos 
Um, ellos estuvieron allí. And short answer would be something like, um, sí. Uh, sí, allí estuvieron. Okay. So short answer. In this case, uh, we're going to start with um, always yes or no. Okay, because here we're talking about yes or no answers. Okay, so we have yes, I was, no, I was. Yes, I was, no, he wasn't. Um, yes, they were, no, they were. So we're always going to start with yes or no. Also, make sure that after yes or no, we use commas. Yes, comma, or no comma. Yes, comma, or no comma. Yes, comma, or no comma. Okay, does that make sense? Eso sería siempre, verdad, teacher? Confirmando. So yeah, if if, if you are yeah you are confirming, you would say yes. <laughs> okay. Right. Thanks. Okay. All right. Any other questions? Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, after that, we're going to be using the verb, sorry, the subject, okay? The subject is going to be, um, for example, in this case, I, in this case, it's going to be he because it's your brother. And so, in this case, it's going to be they because it's your parents, two people. Question, why, if I say were you, why do I answer I? Okay. Here the subject is you and here is I. Inside. I think because he asked me. Right, exactly. So it says for you or so that's because second person, were you born? But then when I answer, I have to answer for me. So I say, I, yes, I was, okay? All right, does that make sense? In a sentido? So now the answer is going to be just simply the verb to be in the past, which is going to be was or was if it's affirmative or wasn't if it's negative. Okay. So was or wasn't. Now, if it's plural, we're going to say yes, they were. And the negative, if it's is no, they weren't. So the answer is either going to be was or were. So was or wasn't or were or were. Okay, does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. All right, now over here, we have the same idea. It's exactly the same. The only difference is that these are not yes or no questions. This your the answer is not going to be yes or no. The answer is going to be more extensive because you're asking for information questions. For information questions, we have to start with WH question words. Okay. What are WH question words? Where, where, when, when, why, who, when, why, where, how, why, why, which. Okay, good. So, for example, over here, we're going to start with where. What is where in Spanish? Donde. Yeah. Yeah. In, in 
Exacto. Where is donde? What about when? Cuando. Cuando. Very good, exactly. What? Que. Okay. 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 Oh, in some cases, in Spanish, it would be cual. Ok, dependiendo de la pregunta, a veces se traduce en español como cual. Ok. Eh, ya, yeah. ok. Ese eh, es which, teacher. En realidad, cuál sería which. Lo que sucede es de que en inglés la palabra which um, es como cuando hay opciones muy definidas. Ok. Eh, for example, which cell phone company. So which um yeah which cell phone brand do you prefer um lg samsung apple or huawei so we have so we have a specific options so that's when we use which but if the if the options are like very open general illimited then we use what that's why you say a uh, ¿Cuál es, eh, ¿Cuál es tu nombre? ¿Cuál es tu nombre en inglés? No es, which is your name. Porque no hay solamente ciertas opciones definidas. Uf, hay un sinnúmero de, de opciones de cuál sería su nombre. Entonces, en ese caso, por eso no decimos en, en inglés, which is your name, sino que, what is your name. No sé si, si, si se logra entender. Sí, a modo que la afirmación no sea cerrada, sino que, o sea, exactly. la libertad de expresión. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly, very good. Win. So, o just sea, like, yo, mm -hmm. con which hay menos opciones de respuesta, o ya las de, predefine en la pregunta. Eh, ya sea en la pregunta o en el contexto, sabemos de que hay opciones limitadas. Cuando digo limitadas, o sea, uh, literalmente son limitadas. O sea, no vamos a, a decir como, ah, 50 opciones. Pero así no, y a eso ya no es limitado, ¿verdad? 50, eh, demasiados. Quizás una cinco opción podría ser, ¿verdad? Ahí sí hace un switch. ¿okay? Normalmente hacemos switch cuando hay como quizás dos o tres opciones. ¿okay? Which do you like? Which, uh, which shoes do you like? The the black, the brown, or the white one. So there's no Quiere decir, there. teacher, que he tenido un concepto equivocado de cada una de, de esas preguntas, porque yo lo entendía what como, como eh, cuál, ¿verdad? O, o qué, pero which es más este directo, por decirlo así. Ahora sí entiendo el concepto de what y which. Gracias. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, so what is, what will always, or better said in Spanish, if you say que, is going to always be what. Pero en español se usa cual, no necesariamente va a ser what, eh, which, pero which, no, pero sí, which, correcto. So en español, aunque la, la pregunta sea cual, en inglés no necesariamente sería, eh, sería which, sino podría ser what, dependiendo si, cuántas opciones tenemos. No sé si acabo, les acaba de confundir más. ¿Se ¿Sí? no, sí, Yo sí le comprendo. Ok, ok, good, good, good. Ok, so anyway, let's continue with this. After the... The, the, the WH question word is going to be the same as this. So, say, it's, but I'm going to say it for them, okay? So, in this case, we're going to have a word, okay? Here it was, and here a word. Now, in this one, um, ah, otra cosa, se me había escapado de explicarles. If in Spanish we use cual, and in, in English, we use what. We're usually going to say the um, a, the thing we're talk, um, they're talking about. So, what city, what um, what shoes, um, or what country? Okay. So usually we're going to say the thing that we're talking about. Okay. 
Does that make sense? What color do you like? What color do you like? ¿Qué color te gusta? número de colores. Right? So we're usually going to say the, the thing, the, like, the specific thing we're talking about. Okay? Or what time is it? Because the time is, is very open too, right? So what do you think? What is la hora? Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Okay. Yes, teacher. Perfect. All clear. All right, excellent. Now, um, after that, we continue with the same the same way. You, you use the subject, you, he, they, whatever the subject is. And the complement, if it's needed. Most of the time, it's actually needed with the verb to be. Okay. So it's like 90. <laughs> Um, ninety nine percent of the time is that we have four or or eight. Okay. And here the answer because because the answer is not yes or no, we're gonna use complete answers. We're gonna use complete answers. So you're gonna say I E they and then we're gonna be using the verb to be, was, was, and this one were, and the rest of the sentence, the complement, okay? This one, in this case, born in Korea. Notice this is Korea, not Korea. Okay, so, Careful with the pronunciation. Korea, Korea, no Korea. Korea. Here, born in 1985. Here, born in Seoul. Okay. Okay, teacher. Do you have any questions you want to ask before we continue? I no question. Okay. Thank you, Anita. And the other people? All right, perfect. So in that case, um let's um let's let's start practicing. Okay. Um so just give me a moment. I'm going to stop sharing. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Now, um, I think we can do this in. I think we can do this individually. The the exercise. All you have to do. The only thing you have to do is um to decide if you're going to have to put it in. Uh, using the was or the word. It should be super easy. Um. Tell me if you can see my screen. Yeah. You can see my screen? Okay. Yes. Yes. Sure. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Um, so uh, I'm going to so you just have to put more like or was, that's it. And I will send you guys this in the chat too. Sí, lo siguen viendo, ¿verdad?
Yes. Okay. Just give me a moment. Uh, Mr. Kusum, may I have a little bit of a Just a little bit. Aquí tiene que ver lo que son verbos plurales y singulares, ¿no? Uh, no es un verbo, es un sustantivo, sustantivo, perdón. La persona. Sí, yeah, uh -huh, exacto. Uh, yeah. okay. The verb es no tan importante. The verb es el verbo. Así que el verbo es el verbo. Lo que es importante aquí es pensar en el verbo. Subject. Okay. Subject, I, you, he, she, he, 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 he. Ya les tendría que haber llegado al video. ¿Puedes ver? Sí, teacher. I'll give you about one more minute, one or two more minutes. Okay, are you ready? Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, we're going to check in the answers. Um, so the first one says, hey, were you born in the city? Next, when? Where? When were. Very good. When were. Excellent. Okay, when were you born? Where? 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 Where, where were your parents? Where were your parents born? When? Where? When was your mother born? When? 
Where were you good? Excellent. Because here it's it's you and your family. It's 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 going to be you, but plural, right? So it's going to be were you and your family in the city last year? Next number seven. Where? What? Where? Were you at my the school last year? Sorry, were you at the school last year? Next, who? Was. 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 Where? Who was your first English teacher? Um, notice if it's your first English teacher, it would either be a man or a woman, so it's going to be he or she. So you're going to see who was. So it'd be like, who was he or who was she? Okay. Next, what nationality? Was. Where. Good. What nationality was your first English teacher? What nationality? Because again, English teacher can be a man or a woman, so it could be or she. And the last one? What? What? Where. Was. Was. Good. What was he or she like? Any questions? Okay. No, All right. So that's it no all for this topic. Now we're going to continue, but a little bit further with the. Really want some too big. Can you guys see my screen or not? Teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. So here, um, here, it's pretty much like, like more of the same thing. And we're going to start using WH question words. So, for example, um, we're going to start with... Um, like for example, where? What is where? What does it mean? Where? Donde. Donde. Very good. And when? What is when? Cuando. Cuando. Very good. Why? Porque. If. Porque. How old? Cuánto. How old? Como. Como hace cuánto? How old? Cuánto. ¿Cuántos años? Okay, so how old oh, means cuántos años? Like, how old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? Okay. All right. Okay. Eh, what? Qué. Qué. Or we just learned also which. Eh, sorry, sorry. Or also cuál. Cuál es era. Very good. And how? Como. Como. Como es el colegio. 
Como era good. Cole. Cole. Very good. Okay. So, so we're going to start with the WH question. After that, we're going to start, we're going to go with if it's, if it's any verb, any verb that is not the verb to be. Acuérdense lo que le decía anteriormente. El verbo to be rompe todas las reglas. Entonces, de ir con los demás verbos, siguen las mismas reglas. Entonces, con todos los demás, you're going to be using did, did, did. Okay, all the other verbs. Okay, it doesn't matter what the verb is. It could be make, eat, drink, sleep, watch, write, win, watch, etc., etc. It doesn't matter. It's always going to be did. Okay? Do we understand? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. In that case, if it's the verb, to, sorry, if it's any other verb, we're going to be using, after that, we're going to be using the subject. Okay. So we're going to be using. Okay. So this one is going to be you. Okay. And then well, these ones are all going to be you, just, just because it's coincidence, let's say. Okay. Um, so after that, so we're going to use the auxiliary, the verb, the, the subject, and then we're going to be using the verb. After that, we're going to be using the verb. The verb is going to be, in this case, grow up. Here, come. In this one, become. Okay. So, just to make sure that you that you understand this, you better write it down. Okay. You better write it down. So I'm gonna say. Um, so it's wh question word. Wh question word plus did plus um the subject. Plus the uh, the verb. Hey, just a second, everybody. Just give me. A okay. So um. Is, um, after that, we're going to be using the verb, and if it's necessary, we're going to be using um, a complement. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay, this is this is the, the, the structure that we're going to be using. Sounds good. Is this okay? Teacher, una yes. pregunta. Digamos que sería incorrecto decir what is your major in college? What what is your major? Did. Que sería incorrecto decir, digamos, what did, what did your major in college? Yes, that is right. The what right. did? Because the verb is to be, okay? So uh, with the verb to be, we use all um, other forms that are not. Uh, so basically, you're going to use it with all the other verbs except with the verb to be. Okay, thanks. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Ten. Okay, good. So here, that's what the verb to, uh, with any other verbs. With the verb to be, it's going to be a little bit different. Okay. With the verb to be, we you're going to be using um was or were. Okay. Always was or were. It depends on the subject. And then we're going to be using the subject. So, um, you, your major, 
in college. And obviously we're gonna be using a compliment if it's necessary. Okay. In this case, I would be in call in 1999, here in college. And this one is not necessary to use a compliment. Sorry, oh no, no, sorry. Yeah, no, that's no, correct. That's correct. And this one you don't have to use a compliment. So sometimes a compliment is not necessary. Okay. Um now over here though, yes, it is. Um we have here the WH question word. Question word. Um plus was or were depends. And then uh subject. And finally, uh, compliment if it's necessary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Does that make sense? Yeah. Does that make sense, everybody? Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, good. Because um oops, let me just one moment. Um here uh Okay, so this is a spring. So this is the structure that we're going to be using with the verb to be. Okay, now when you're answering, it's going to be you have to answer with the verb, the complete verb, right? In the in the simple past, so we have, I grew up, I came to, um, because I needed. Okay, so if we're going to be using the verb in the original form. Sorry, not sorry, not the original form. The original form of the simple past was that's what I'm talking about. Does that make sense for everybody? Yes, teacher. Okay, and so in this one, we're going to be just yes. using the words for the word, it's whichever one is necessary in, in that form. Okay, any questions at this point? Any questions? No questions? No questions. Okay. Now, just uh, making sure that you understand this. Vamos a hacer eso rapidito. Vamos a hacerlo juntos. Okay, match the questions with the answers. Vamos a ver si lo hemos entendido. Okay, lo voy a hacer un poquito más pequeño para que puedan verlo. Okay, first question is when and when and where were you? Sorry, when and where were you born? And the answer is going to be. Um, I was born in 1983 in Hiroshima, Japan. Next, how old were you then? How old were you then? What's the respuesta? Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Okay, so much. Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Letter F. F, I grew up in Tokyo. Yeah, Very good. I grew up in Tokyo. Uh, when did you start school? When did you start school? Letter G. Letter G. I entered first grade in 1989. How old were you then? How old were you then? 
A. A, I was six. Um, how was your first day at school? How was your first day at school? Letter H. Letter H. It was a little scary. Who was your uh your first friend at school? Letter D. Letter D. D. Her name was Jumito. What was he or she like? Letter B. Letter B. She was really shy. And finally, why did you take the class? Why did you take the class? Letter E. Letter E. My English wasn't very good. Exactly. Okay. Any questions at this moment? Okay. Bueno, entonces en este caso, chicos, eso sería todo. Hemos uh, terminado, hemos concluido la clase y el módulo también. Uh, muy pronto se deberían de estar contactando con ustedes para que puedan um, decirles cuándo empezamos el nuevo módulo, que según tengo entendido, la idea es empezar la próxima semana. Ok, así de que estén pendientes ahí de su correo, de su celular, para que puedan ustedes empezar ya eh, con todo en el próximo nivel. Ok. Well, that's it, everybody. So I hope everybody's okay, and um, hopefully we'll see each other later on. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you, teacher. All right. Take care, guys. Not to meet you. It was nice meeting you too. Okay. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. It's so late. Okay. Bye everybody. Yeah.